2012 center first opened as the Moscow High School, the difference between the old single classroom in a shared building and the new state-of-the-art facility could not have been more drastic. The building was safer, bigger, and better equipped with high-end building components and top-of-the-line educational technology. Students, of course, had traditional literature and math lessons, but also included in Moscow High School's curriculum was a manual training program. The manual training movement was a precursor to the idea of vocational schools. It began in the U.S. in the 1870s with the training of engineers, and the idea quickly spread to general education. The concept behind the manual training movement was to train the eyes and hands in tandem with learning intellectual and social skills. Men learned crafts like woodworking and metalworking, and skills for women ranged from sewing and cooking to home economics. It's important to note, however, that this was not intended to teach students a particular trade. Rather, manual training was meant to accompany and enhance a traditional curriculum, emphasizing the connection between knowing and doing. Manual training at the Moscow High School was held on the first floor of the building in what is now Friendship Hall. The welcome center was the machine room, and the current arts room and fisk room were the sewing and home economic lab. That's all for now. To learn more about us, visit 1912center.org or click the link above. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.